Global Child Nutrition Foundation, GCNF, works with global networks of governments, businesses, and civil society organizations to support school meal programs that help children and communities thrive. GCNF provides global monitoring, training, technical assistance, and networking opportunities to help governments build national school meal programs that are nutritious, locally sourced, and ultimately independent from international aid. This video focuses on GCNF's Global Survey of School Meal Programs, funded in part by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The Global Survey of School Meal Programs aims to strengthen the work of the Global School Meal Network by developing a comprehensive database of the core aspect of large-scale school meal programs around the world. GCNF conducted the first survey in 2019 drawing responses from 105 countries representing 78% of the world population. In order to track how school meal programs evolve over time, GCNF administered a second round of the survey in 2021, collecting data on 139 countries representing 81% of the world population as of 2020. The survey will be conducted every two or three years into the future. Among the goal of this longitudinal study, GCNF intends to monitor whether school meal programs are reaching more or fewer children each year. The impact of the crisis, such as the COVID-19 pandemic and more subtle developments, such as changes in countries' policies or economic status on their programs how the characteristics of these programs are changing, and how governments adjust their budgets and management responsibilities. School meal programs bring a large variety of benefits, perhaps even intergenerational benefits, and may save taxpayers billions in the form of health care cost savings. It is estimated that for every dollar spent, School meal programs generate $3 to $9 in return value. The survey data allows governments and partners to support investments based on deeper knowledge, to better advocate for resources, and to show progress over time. The Global Survey of School Meal Programs fills a critical knowledge gap by establishing the world's largest global database of standardized information on school meal programs. The data contributes to a set of broad recommendations for policymakers. Government engagement is critical to program sustainability. Therefore, in countries where programs are managed by implementing partners, GCNF strongly encourages involving relevant government agencies. Many countries saw an increase in government spending on school meal programs between 2019 and 2021. Thailand, for example, went from spending $747 million to over $1 billion in spending. In addition, Thailand's food program provides over 80,000 jobs. The Philippines spent $122 million on their meal program, an increase of almost $30 million from two years prior. One million more children were fed. Let's take a look at Chile's country report. Chile's national school feeding program is 100% government funded. Schools in Chile were closed and operating remotely from March through December 2020 in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The number of students fed in Chile has been increasing, reaching 68% of primary and secondary school age children in the 2020 school year, marking the third consecutive year of a steady growth. When schools were closed and on-campus lunches were not provided, ingredients were offered for students or their parents to pick up at the school in order to prepare or eat at home. In addition, Chile improved the nutritional design of its national school feeding program, increasing the amount of fruits, vegetables, fish, selfish, and other foods. A quick glance at the country report for Iceland reveals that while the total budget wasn't reported, Iceland was able to feed 94% of their primary and secondary school age children and 100% of preschool age students.
how some countries have been dealing with the impact of COVID-19 varies. For example, most countries report social distancing, wearing protective face masks, and increased hand washing, while others completely pivoted their programs to serve children in innovative ways during school closures. Government participation in the survey contributes to a global effort to document and highlight countries providing nourishment to school children to help them reach their highest potential. Thank you to the government focal points who recognize the importance of the data collection and dedicated staff to complete the survey. The pandemic has increased the challenges, but it has not changed our resolve to ensure that all children around the world are nourished and ready to learn.